Do you have any nerve advice, Uncle Ben? Always remember, Peter, with great power comes great responsibility. Uh-huh. But with no power comes joke reskins. Videos on the scruffy looking Nerf Hunter channel are intended for audiences of 13 and above. Hey guys, it's the scruffy looking Nerf Hoarder and in today's video my spider sense is tingling because we are taking a look at some Spider-Man Nerf Blasters. Both these blasters are made by Hasbro and I picked them up from the Entertainer in the UK for £6 each and they are sold separately. So this is the first blaster I picked up, this is the Mars Morales blaster. And you can see it's got that black Spider-Man logo on there, some black on the handle, some really nice webbing on there. And then on the separate blaster we've got here, which is a, the Spider-Man 2099 blaster, you can see it's got that 2099 logo on there and lots of sharp edges. It looks really, really cool actually. I really love the design of this blaster. Now, these are both based on the new Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man Across the Universe, um, but they're not blasters that Spider-Man would use because Spider-Man would never use blasters. Um, Spider-Man's all about the webbing and there is a separate Spider-Man web shooter that you can get. But if your child wants a blaster or they just want something that looks really cool or you want something that's really cool, then you know, Hasbro have made these, you know, so if you're interested, they are out there. Um, just looking quickly at the packaging, we can see they both got the same box basically. On the side of the box, we got Mars Morales outside, and on the other one, we've got um, oh, one's got a uh, 2099 um, Spider Man, and then the other one's got uh, Mars Morales again. And then on the back of the packaging, just lots of legal stuff, but we do have one where it advertises the other, so there you go. Pretty simple design. Let's open these up and see what they are like outside the box. Take a closer look at the 2099 blaster first. So we can see it's got some really nice details on there. Again, those sharp edges really do make it look quite unique. And this blaster is super easy to fire. It does come with two of the Nerf darts that have the Nerf logo on. And literally we load them in there and pull the priming handle and fire the dart, as simple as that. So not really much to go over this because it is basically uh, just a jolt blaster, but you know, nice design on there. And obviously very similar design. This is the Mars Morales blaster. No logos on the other side. And on this side, we've got the Nerf logo and the Spider-Man logo. This one comes with two black darts with red heads. Again, really simple. Load the dart into the front, pull back and fire the dart. For my personal opinion on these blasters, there's really not much to say. They're basically just jolt reskins. They're um, just single shot blasters in the style of Spider-Man. So if you're a fan of Spider-Man, then I would definitely recommend picking them up. But there's really no surprises here. They're exactly what you'd expect them to be. Hopefully this video has helped you see them in person. And maybe if you're a Spider-Man fan, you want to pick them up because I think they look pretty cool. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. And now I can take this suit off because I am boiling. <laughs> and until next time, may the phone flinging force be with you. See you later, Spidey fans. Greetings, Exalted One. As a token of my goodwill, I present to you these two videos. Both are about Star Wars weapons and will serve you well. Until next time, may the Faithful Force be with you.